Um, another tough game. Um, you know, we've had a really tough non-conference. Um, you know, and, and Nebraska felt like a non-conference game in the sense of it's so early, but we know it's a conference game with Rutgers as well. So uh, difficult and challenging, but good for our team. Um, you know, so we were not real good versus Nebraska. Um, give them a lot of credit. Uh, they were the tougher team, the more physical team, and it's a tough environment. Uh, you know, so it was a nice wake-up call for our guys, so we got to get back at it. How have the guys bounced back so far uh, in practice? They were really good yesterday, really good. Um, you know, I think the, the biggest thing they got to they gotta understand is, and, and it's so early, um, but when the elements hit you, uh, you know, crowd gets into it, a call you don't like, a foul, something like that, like you've got to, that's where you've got to get tougher, stronger, better together. And I thought yesterday's practice was really good. You've avoided foul trouble for the most part early in the season and until the Nebraska game. Is that when it seemed to really hit you got a lot of inexperienced guys out on the court since uh, starters are out with fouls? And... You know, I, I've said from day one, like our, our team, you know, I like them, uh, but we are really, really inexperienced on the bench, or really inexperienced. And, and Isaiah and Jameer are two talented, talented freshmen. They're going to be very good players, but it's early December. You look at a lot of freshmen across the board right now, you look at these box scores, they're not playing a lot of minutes. Um, you know, most of them are not, and that's because they're just not ready. And so it's it's challenging in that. And then you you look at Devonte hasn't played in two years. You know, Bukhari, Michael Hurd have played spot minutes. So nobody wants to hear it because injuries, for whatever reason, everybody ignores them. But losing Eric Curry really, really hurt us, and it's going to take time to make up for that. More reps for Devonte, more reps for backup center, whoever it may be. Um, you know, so it's it's early December. Um, we've got two really good wins under our belt in, at Providence College and in Alabama, and if we can go get uh, at Arkansas, that's a terrific win. Is it a challenge when a team knows it's good, like your team does, to, to, to get them to play up to that level always? Um, I don't know if we know we're that good. I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, people are telling us we're good. Okay. So the illusion of people telling us we're good that should not mean that we're good. Okay. Um, you know, us being ranked, like, like, like I told our guys yesterday, <clears throat> Would you sign up for top four in the Big Ten and a five seed? Um, realistically, you probably would. I mean, we want to win a Big Ten title, but realistically, that would mean it's a good year. Well, we were ranked for like a day last year. <laughs> so we weren't ranked. So that whole ranking and people, like like everybody told us we stunk last year and we weren't ranked. Um, so the, the we can't fall into the trap of the illusion of just because people tell us we're going to beat Miami at home because it's a great environment. That's not really why you're going to win. So it is a challenge. Um, uh, I, I found it a lot easier when people told us we were going to stink uh, to get everybody to band together. So uh, it's a it's a different challenge. But there's so many challenges throughout the season. You just deal with it. So you're putting the top 25 on the door of your office every single week. Say that again. You're putting the top 25 on the door of your office every single week. Yeah, but like for for me, you know, rankings are great for your fans. Um, in my ideal world. It would almost be at the college playoff, football playoff. Don't unveil the rankings till like late January. Um, you know, like all, all these preseason awards that are. A guy, a guy calls me yesterday and says, you know, I've got Jordan Murphy as second on my national player. Like, what the hell is that? We play ten games. <laughs> so like all this, and, and again, you guys have to fill. You got content. You got to do it. I get it. But we got we got games to play. We got to get better. Um, you know, rankings are for the fans. They don't mean a whole lot to us. You mentioned Bama. You mentioned Providence. You look at the Miami game. You look at playing two early Big Ten games and the way it's affected your bench. How much does playing this kind of help out in the long run? If they if they listen and learn, it would be really beneficial. Uh, you got to win some of the games. Unfortunately, we got that Providence one. Unfortunately, we got that Alabama one. And if we can get it. Uh, you know, at Arkansas, if we can get that, that would be phenomenal. Um, but we got to play our best basketball late January, February. And um, if we listen, if we learn, if we grow and get better, uh, it'll be good for us. But, you know, all those Big Ten games, those first two for everybody, nobody was real good. Um, you know, I think a lot of the home teams won would be my <coughs> guess. Um, you know, and it was tough. One day, one day turnaround, going in a tough environment that – that's the only thing I didn't like about that. Like, like I don't mind the early Big Ten games because I think it's good for our fans and good for college basketball to have more home games on national TV. But the one-day turnaround, and I understand there's a lot of uh, scheduling conflicts and issues, but the one-day prep was very, very difficult to go on the road, tough environment. 
You mentioned but, the young players, Isaiah, everybody like that. Uh, at, at what point do does, does do you stop seeing that youth? Or at what point do you expect them to not? It's, it, I don't know. This season or, or I don't know. know. I mean, I, I think if you look at Jordan Murphy yeah. um, <clears throat> and Dupree McBrayer and, and uh, Nate Mason, as challenging as that season was two years ago, they got great reps on the court. Um, you know, they got great experience on the court. So um, it takes time. It, that, that's why you sign up for four years. Everybody's always in a rush. They're always in a rush. Um, you know, it, it, it just takes time to get better and it takes game reps. And every experience is different. You know, like Isaiah probably didn't know about at Nebraska that would be a tough environment. Now he'll be better next time he goes there. And I thought he was pretty good, but I'm just saying him, uh, for instance, hypothetically. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. Everybody moves at a different pace. And some guys takes a little bit longer, um, you know, but that's why you build a program from the ground up. You played well against Arkansas last year. Obviously they lose Moses, but is there anything you can take from that game and, and bring it to this one? Yeah, not really. I mean, we're, we're a totally different team. They're a totally different team. Um, you know, maybe – uh, from a game plan standpoint, it's always better when you can show your guys how they did versus what they do. That's always, you know, they identify with it a little bit better. Uh, but we did it at home. We didn't do it on the road. Eric Curry was terrific that game. Akeem Springs was terrific. They're not here anymore. Uh, you know, so again, it's, it's, we're a totally different team. Um, and uh, we got a lot of guys that are um, going to have to be ready. Um, but Arkansas is a terrific team. I mean, they beat UConn by about 45 points. So that's hard to do. Um, so I, I've got a lot of respect for them and uh, their program and Coach Anderson. You're at the Final Four event today. Is it starting to sink in that that's less than a year and a half out from being in Minneapolis? No, <laughs> no, it's not. But it's great. I mean, it's good for the. <laughs> it's good. I don't know. I'm, I, I hope I'm in it. I hope I make the <laughs> tournament. Um, it's awesome. I mean, it's awesome for uh, our community. Um, you know, I will say I mean, when I took the job, I mean. I'm on year five, which is crazy to think, and I've got two young kids who were born here. Um, and I always thought when I came here that it was a hockey state. Um, and it's amazing just how much they love basketball. They love hockey, they love football, they love them all. Um, but they, they love basketball here. And uh, so for that to be on uh, the national stage, and U.S. Bank is beautiful, um, it'll be really good for our community, it'll be really good uh, for college basketball. Um, but no, I haven't thought a whole lot about it. <laughs>